Hi, welcome to the channel. This is Jay and I'm here to bring you a review of the Lego Ideas 123 Sesame Street set. Ever since Lego announced that the Ideas project by Ivan Guerrero was going to be turned into a set, uh, Sesame Street is one of the best surprises coming out of Lego this year. Let's go into the details about the set. First of all, it's uh, it comes in at about 1,367 pieces. The set number is 21324 and the official set name is 123 Sesame Street, a play on the, uh, the address of the building and the location of Sesame Street. It's going to be released on lego.com and your Lego stores from the 1st of November onwards and it will retail in the US for $119.99. Uh, of course, the, design, the original design and the winning submission came from a builder called uh, Ivan Guerrero and the Lego set designers that worked on bringing this set to life are Ollie Gregory and Crystal Marie Fontan. Sesame Street is a staple to anyone growing up. I guarantee you that if you've spent hours as a kid in front of TV, you would probably have learned a thing or two from Sesame Street, whether it's counting um, with the count or whether it's learning your letters or whether it's learning about the addictiveness of cookies from Cookie Monster. I guarantee you that everyone has had some connection with Sesame Street. First of all, what was surprising uh, about the build was just how large and substantial it is. It is not a small set, but I think with what you get in the set uh, for 120 US dollars, you actually get it's it's just packed with value. And it you know as you can see here, it makes a very very attractive display set. It's big. You can immediately tell what the different buildings are. And um, even for like younger kids as well, there's just so many things that you can do and so many different scenes you can set up uh, that call back to the iconic television series. What I really liked about this set as well and what I think fans will absolutely love is uh, the build. There's just so much love that has gone into creating and designing these sets. Um, it's... I, I'm, I'm just impressed by how much the designers managed to pack in. I know you only get um, you know six main characters. You get Elmo, Bert, Ernie, Cookie Monster, Big Bird, and of course everyone's beloved Oscar the Grouch. Um, but they've you know they've managed to squeeze in so many different Easter eggs. One of the one of the things I really enjoyed was um, as I built this set was. Uh, just seeing all the little references, all the little nods to characters and scenes and just different references from the decades that Sesame Street can call upon. And I don't know, there, there's just a lot of love put into it. And now let's look at minifigures. First we've got Ernie with his signature yellow rubber ducky. Ernie's head molding is really detailed. I was really surprised how well this came out. He's got a uh, striped sweater. Up next is Bert, and similarly to Ernie, his head molding is really nicely detailed. I like his, I, I especially like his turtleneck that they've molded into his head as well. Another fantastic figure. Next up, Elmo, everyone's favorite cuddly red monster. I think Elmo's minifigure is okay. I really wish we had a bit more texture and printing on his body and legs. Same goes with Cookie Monster. The googly eyes are really nice, but again, similarly to Elmo, his torso and legs are a bit too plain, especially when you have, you know, some fur detailing on his head. Oops. Next up, we have Big Bird. Big Bird was a big surprise. Uh, his 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 body can be detached. It's it's one giant piece that goes into the head um, head pin there. It's made out of um, you know soft rubber but not like the usual soft rubber it's actually quite rigid it's, um, but the beak can be quite flexible great textures and i like that they included his tail as well 
And last but not least, we have Oscar the Grouch. He's actually just a head um, that's fused to a minifigure head, uh, but the printing is nice, and given that he spends most of his time in a trash can, I think it works pretty well. Alright, let's look at the build. Alright, let's take a look at the actual set itself. And first up is just the hustle and bustle of the street. There's actually so much space where you could pose your minifigures. There's plenty of space so it doesn't feel crowded at all. And you can set up all sorts of fun little scenes. Let's take a look at Hooper's, the convenience store run by a human, not a Muppet. It's a two-story building with a little loft or apartment for Cookie Monster. It's got a picture of the Count which was cut and a TV for Cookie Monster to binge on. Over on the ground floor, there is a counter and a seated area outside for coffee. And over on the inside, I really like the use of printed elements and a few dots uh, tiles as well for the stuff that you can buy at Hooper's. One of the best parts of the set, the green lamppost, the opalescent bulb, and the printed sign. Here's a look at the interiors of the main 123 Sesame Street building. Out the front, there's a little uh, trash section for our friend Oscar and, and, and his worm Slimy, which is printed on a tile. Over on the side, we have a reference to Biff and Sally's Construction Co. and of course, Abby's fairy garden right at the bottom. On the other end, we have Big Bird's Nest with a portrait, hand-drawn portrait of Mr. Hooper and Snuffy. Heading upstairs, we of course have Bert and Ernie's room. They are, you know, the most iconic roommates and there's plenty of cool little details such as Ernie's bathtub, naturally where he can hang up with Rubber Ducky, and there are also lots of printed elements such as a portrait and you know references to um, the bottle cap collections. On the ground floor, we have a section for Elmo's room where again we have more uh, you know stickered elements for Muppets that missed out. One of the biggest surprises of 2020 is um, without a doubt the Sesame Street set, and this has been a big year for Lego. We've had a Levi's collaboration, we've got Adidas sneakers, and this was just a really nice way to kind of close out the year. I, you know, there's just so much I love about this set, and you can really tell, like, um, you can really tell from the design that the designers and the original uh, project submission, Ivan as well, they've put in a lot of love and care into designing this set, and I, I guess really celebrating the heritage and what people love about Sesame Street, the colorful characters, the locales, and all the things you might you might have seen watching on the TV as uh, as a kid, or maybe if you're an adult with young kids, you know, this is a really great set to, um, you know, rekindle some of that love for Sesame Street, and also to also play with your kids as well, if you've got, um, you know, toddlers that are, you know, at the right age for Sesame Street. I love all the Easter eggs that are in this set. This is a, it's, 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 it's a typical dollhouse, um, doll dollhouse type design with so much going on with the interiors, but um, what I also love is that the exteriors look great as well. They're, they're, they're quite basic, but there's some really nice, you know, architectural um, flourishes here. This beautiful green lamppost with the printed Sesame Street tile and number, mm, perfect. And I don't know, there's just so many things that you can do and you can really kind of fill this place up with all the minifigures and set up so many different scenes. I think at 120 US dollars, this set is incredible value, especially since you get all the, you know, well, six of the main characters which all have their own um, custom molds. Um, they're not all perfect. Um, I would have liked that the, um, you know, I would have liked that Big Bird uh, was made out of, you know, typical hard ABS plastic, but I'm not gonna complain. It's a very, very minor complaint. So yeah, I think 123 Sesame Street is a amazing set. It strikes the right balance between being a great display piece, but also has a lot of fun little play features that's really perfect for you know younger kids and parents who want to play with it. 
it, you know, heading into the holiday season, I think this is going to be one of the most popular sets and I, it will likely sell out till after Christmas. It releases on the 1st of November and I highly recommend getting it. Uh, to see more of this set, check out my full review on jaysbrickblog.com and thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, let me know in the comments and if you love this video, please subscribe. Thank you so much. I hope to make more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.